<laughs> you may all be seated. <laughs> Good afternoon, Tigers. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to welcome everyone here today. This year may not have been exactly how we planned or what we imagined for that matter, but I'm glad that we could end the year on a positive note. I am sure that most of us never in a million years imagined that our senior year would go the way that it has, but I am definitely thankful to be able to come together today. When we started this year, I didn't know if we would even make it to basketball season. Yet, here we are, gathered here today for one last hurrah. Our high school journey has had many ups and downs that I know we will forever remember. We have created an unbreakable bond just by being Cape Central Tigers. Even though we might have been through a literal pandemic, including social distancing, masks, and lots of different restrictions, we truly have come closer as a class. In these four years, we have been through so much together and created so many memories. I am grateful for not only my classmates, but the teachers, staff, coaches, families, and community for the love and support that has helped us get this far. This event truly marks the start of something new. The future awaits us and we have so much to look forward to. I once again welcome you all as we celebrate the graduation of the class of 2021. Thank you. At this time, I'm pleased to recognize our Cape Central faculty stage guests. Later in our ceremony, our superintendent, Dr. Glass, will introduce the members of our Cape Girardeau Board of Education. I ask you please hold your applause until all faculty stage guests have been introduced. Dr. Neil Glass. Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Howard Binion, Deputy Superintendent of Secondary Schools. Mrs. Mandy Keyes, Superintendent of Special Services. Mrs. Kate Longmire Richarde, Cape Central English teacher, who has been selected by our class to be our commencement speaker. Mr. Micah Janzo, Cape Central Science teacher and chair of our science department, who has been selected by our class to read our names as we receive our diplomas. Mr. Marty Vines, Cape Central Social Studies teacher and chair of Social Studies department, who has been selected by our class to read our names as we receive our diplomas. The chairs persons of our academic departments at Cape Central High School. Mr. John Daniels, Art. Colonel Michael Gooden, Air Force JROTC. Mrs. Patty Womble, Business. Miss Crystal Cerny, English Language. Mrs. Sarah Shell. Family and Consumer Science. Mr. Nicholas Cato, Library and Media Services. Mr. Jameson Cupper, Mathematics. Mr. Josh Lamar, Music. Miss Jane Como, Physical Education. Mrs. Peggy Starzinger, Special Education. Mrs. Judith Crenshaw, World Languages. Members of our Central Academy Leadership Team, Mr. Zach Payne, Director, Mrs. Andrea Beggs, Assistant Director, 
the members of our Cape Central leadership team. Mr. Tyson Moyers, athletic director. Mr. Drew Church, assistant principal. Miss Tracy Haggerty, assistant principal. Mr. Bryce Beck, assistant principal. Miss Nancy Scheller, principal. Please join me in welcoming our faculty stage guests. Thank you everyone for being here. This is Ava Duncan, the senior class secretary, and I'm Rachel Keel, the senior class treasurer. Well, we finally made it. I can remember many times throughout my life that I've thought about this day, about what it would feel like for all of this to finally be over. I can remember thinking, only six more years, four more, one more year, and now here we are. In less than an hour, we will receive that piece of paper we have all been looking towards for 13 years now. I always look forward into the future, seeing the many things I had left in my academic career. Now, we stand at the end of the tunnel, and all of that is behind us. Those events have slipped away, and all we have left are the memories. Our first day of kindergarten was August 14, 2008. I remember feeling excited that day like I was finally growing up. I remember crying when the school day was over because I didn't want to go home. I guess no one told me I'd be doing that for more than a decade, or maybe I didn't know what a decade was at that point. Many of my, and probably your, most memorable moments would happen over the next five years. We all remember play day, which I don't think can compare to the various field days we have had since. This was the most fun-filled time of our childhood. There were a few down spots, though, like that dress code they introduced when we were in the fourth grade. Do you all remember when we had to wear polos to school all the time? And um, I think we're really all glad that they loosened that over the years. Elementary school was the most relaxed school environment we ever experienced, and many of us would come to long for kindergarten's nap time throughout the years. I remember graduating from the fourth grade and they had this fun little graduation party and I just remember looking forward to this day to our real graduation. I hope it has been worth the wait for all of you. When we finally moved on to middle school it was overwhelming. We were put into classes with kids we had never met who had gone to different elementary schools. I remember thinking as a fifth grader that the sixth graders were so grown up. Looking back, they were 12 years old, so it's funny how age works. One thing I think we can all look back on fondly was the ticket program and all the rewards we could purchase with them. Do you guys remember when we could purchase Kona ice or we could do duct tape crafts? I think that was a really nice program that the middle school did for us. I still find those neon tickets on occasion and am reminded of the memories from the, sorry, those days. It is a common trope to have middle school be the worst part of your life, but I think we made it out all right. The change from middle school to junior high is probably one of the most memorable and significant changes in our time at school. We had graduated not only to a new school, but to a new life stage. Suddenly, we didn't want to be kids anymore. We got to choose our own schedules, explore our interests, and that was great. However, we did cross a line we couldn't go back over. This was about the time that technology really started to influence our lives and our education. It was inescapable and maybe inevitable, but it was here to stay. Everyone was engrossed in their phones, their social media more important than their social lives. Our assignments and lessons were on the computer. We began to live through our screens. I think this was the most significant change we saw during our entire lives, the transition from real life to the digital world. Starting here, everything began to be pushed onto the screen. Our textbooks, our papers, our lectures, everyone seemed so excited for the future. Many of us visited our old elementary schools on Friday, and I think this change was especially shocking then. 
I remember when teachers didn't even have overhead projectors. They had those tabletop ones with the lights and the glass. And if we wanted to watch something, they had to roll in the VHS player. Going back on Friday and, so and seeing how even the little kids have laptops really drove home how much this world has changed. The schools we went to, the world we lived in, it no longer exists. We are some of the last kids not to have that overwhelming technological influence. It is amazing how this has happened in less than a decade. At least for us, this change did not come until we were more developed. Junior high was when we decided we need phones and computers around us all the time. It was quite a juxtaposition to fill those old halls with the glow of screens. This wasn't to say that our junior high experience was bad. I think it was one of the best times in our lives creatively. We had so many paths to explore, band, choir, the musical, art. This allowed us to find our interests, which we would pursue even further in the years to come. Going into high school was stressful for many of us. This was a big school with over a thousand students and we were strangers in a strange land. I think I speak for many of us when I say that this school has seemed to grow smaller with each passing year as we grew closer to each other. These unfamiliar halls became our home turf. In our first semester, we witnessed the eclipse, one of the most amazing feats of nature I have seen to this day. The way the faculty here facilitated that event introduced us all to their kind and helpful natures. The teachers here are a shining example of what it means to truly care about one's students and they made that apparent every day of our high school careers. Of course, the biggest event of our time at Cape Central High School was during our junior year when the coronavirus disrupted each of our lives. We were no longer allowed to come to school or go about our normal lives. Virtual learning was realized and many of our classmates found out how lucrative academic dishonesty could be. And I just want to say that paying someone to do your homework is wrong and you shouldn't do it. But during this time, we also found out how valuable learning at the school with our teachers is and how incomparable it is next to a video call. I am really glad we got through this time and are able to be here today. It would have been a shame to cap off our time in the Cape Public School District without a real graduation. I think we have seen many things throughout the last 13 years. The world has changed around us, and if this has taught us anything, it is that we should not take a passive approach to life. I hope you have gained the skills to do so during your time at Cape Central. If we don't use the skills that we hopefully have, we will miss out on the events and decisions that are being made that will shape our lives. We only get to be high schoolers once, and that part of our lives is over now. We aren't high school kids anymore, and we need to act like it. So wherever you are off to, remember the events that have come before, but don't let them distract you from the future. Thank you. Catherine Longmire Richarde has taught English at Cape Central High School for three years. Miss LR, as she is known by her students, was graduated from Southeast Missouri State University in 2018. In addition to teaching English, since coming to Cape Central, Miss Richarde has sponsored our Central Light Fine Arts publication, coached our Cape Central Scholar Bowl team, and has been voted by the student body the most spir spirited teacher twice in a row. Miss Richarde lives in Perryville with her husband Will and their two cats, Walter and Vernon. We are fortunate to have many capable and accomplished faculty at Cape Central High School, and Miss Richarde has quickly established herself in that distinctive category. However, in only three years, Miss L has Ms. L.R. has proven herself to be much more than a master teacher. As validated by the vote of the student body, Ms. Richarde embodies the very idea of school spirit and that her love for our school, our traditions, and our Tiger identity are an encouragement and an example for students and staff alike. Ms. Richarde demonstrates daily that Tiger Pride is much more than wearing orange and black on Fridays. 
She believes Cape Central is at our best when we expect the best from ourselves and from each other. Ms. Richarde understands that the most effective method by which we keep our standards high is by caring deeply and authentically for every member of our greater Cape Central community. With her priority on academic success, nurtured by an authentic passion for our, for our school and a genuine concern for everyone on our campus, Ms. L.R. embodies the very best of what we know to be the heart and soul of Cape Central High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Catherine Longmire Richarde. Ms. Scheller, administrators, board members, faculty, parents, family, and above all, class of 2021, I want to thank you sincerely for including me in this wonderful celebration of achievement. I am deeply honored to share this incredible moment with you. I bet you thought I was going to begin this speech with greetings, literary scholars, didn't you? Though this is a habitual greeting for me, I decided that such a special occasion warranted a more formal introduction. You'll also notice that I'm not wearing graduation regalia in a tiger print. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be much of a market for this. I've checked. <laughs> we'll get through this, guys. I am so honored to speak with you today, class of 2021. From my first days at Cape Central High School, I knew that you were special. You are a class of passion, humor, intelligence, and grit. You allow your curiosity to fuel your academic pursuits and your drive to fuel your athletic ambition. You use your passion and confidence to perform and create. You use your determination to acquire knowledge and tools to ensure you are creating a better future for yourself and for your community. Certainly you are a class of natural talent and intelligence, but my favorite trait about you is your hunger. You're not satisfied with average or meets expectations. You are a class that wants more. You set bold goals for yourself and when you achieve them, you continue reaching. You are a diverse class of varying interests and passions, but collectively, you want to make yourselves and your world better. The fire is contagious, and I am a better teacher for having had you in my classroom. You faced your share of challenges and devastating losses. But instead of allowing these setbacks and heartbreaks to harden you, you have softened. You haven't closed your hearts or built walls around them. Instead, you have shown those around you, adults included, how to feel deeply without hesitation or reservations. You've not only been open to change, but welcomed it and made it good. I have watched you invigorate the halls of Cape Central with a palpable energy of spirit and excitement in a year where it was difficult to find much joy. You are an incredible combination of passion and sensitivity. You are a beautiful example of aliveness. Eight years ago, I sat at my own high school graduation ceremony. My mind was consumed with thoughts of what's next my graduation party, my last summer in my hometown, declaring a college major, securing summer employment. It seemed that's all anyone had to talk about in those days. Where are you going to college? What will you be? What will you do when you graduate with your bachelor's degree? After graduating college, the same questions found me. Have you re received any job offers? Have you applied for grad school yet? Where will you go now? I was so focused on the what's next that I forgot to appreciate the right now. The right now contained many joys, graduating high school, then graduating college, mustering the courage to pursue the career path that gave me a deep sense of fulfillment and pride, 
rather than the career paths that others tried to lead me down. I never took a moment to revel in the big moments of success and happiness. And I certainly didn't take a moment to notice the small, simple moments that make life good. I have spent many days between my own seat at graduation and the podium at yours, looking to what's ahead of me, to the person beside me or in front of me, instead of looking within myself to find strength, comfort, or inspiration. I've missed many happy moments by continuously looking to the after that or the next this. I've allowed the opinions and timelines of others to sway me from my own ideas and goals. Instead of stopping to smell the roses, I have agonized over growing the most impressive rose bush in the neighborhood. Don't get me wrong, it's important to tend to the roses. Before you can smell them, you must grow them. There is great reward in the hard work it takes to grow something beautiful and something even more rewarding in doing work that others can enjoy. Use whatever talents and passions you have to grow your roses. They may look different than your neighbors. They may look different than your family's expectations. And they may look different than you originally planned. All roses are beautiful, no matter the differences. Enjoy each part of the process and trust that you are the green thumb of your life. You know how to tend your roses. Trust yourself and your intuition. Others may not understand your process or your timeline, and that's okay. The important thing is that you trust it. There will be setbacks and failures, unexpected cold fronts and droughts. As you already know, heartbreak and loss can come for anyone at any time. They are an unavoidable, painful part of life. So is failure. In the eight years that have expired between my high school graduation and yours, I've experienced many failures. And before next year's graduation, I will likely experience more. What I've learned in these last eight years, though, is that failure is an important part of growing roses. When failure happens, take a moment to pause and appreciate the opportunity that failure provides. Failure often wakes you up. Failure often helps you release things not meant for you. Failure often teaches you. When failure happens, pause. Smell the roses. The scent may not be as sweet but it'll help you grow. It's not easy to do. The world you are entering values promotions and wealth and Instagrammable moments. Happiness is not a checklist, but an understanding that the college degrees hanging on your wall, the likes on your latest selfie, and the money in your bank account do not make a life. A good life is a collection of small, simple moments. In conclusion, trust yourself. You are the expert of your own life. Only you can determine the right path for you. Never give in to the peer pressure of living your life according to someone else's plan. Pause. Enjoy each moment before looking forward to the next. Love deeply. Live passionately. Leave everything a little better than you found it. Go out into the world. Tend to your roses. Enjoy them. I wish you a million happy moments to pause and savor, and I wish you the strength to live a life that you love. And remember, you will always be a literary scholar to me. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my privilege as principal of Cape Central High School to join our senior class and our faculty and staff in welcoming you to commencement 2021, the 119th commencement of Cape Central Senior High School. It is also my privilege to recognize the members of our Cape Central staff and faculty who are seated at the stage and in the audience this afternoon.
by asking them to stand as you join me in thanking them for going above and beyond to get us through this unprecedented school year as well as the total four years they have invested in the success of the class of 2021. Faculty and staff, please stand. Thank you. I also want to acknowledge the parents of the class of 2021. We are blessed to have active parents at Cape Central High School. I want to thank those parents who gave countless hours supporting the arts, the athletic programs, and other many co-curricular activities. Please know your support for your students and for CHS as a whole has not gone unnoticed and it is forever appreciated. Parents of the class of 2021, please stand so that we may recognize you. Thank you. Seniors, class of 2021, I thank you for your perseverance. I am confident that the spirit and courage you have demonstrated daily in our hallways, on our playing fields, and on our performance stages that you have the potential to make our world a far better place. I am confident you will overcome, you will celebrate, you will make a positive difference. This school year, more than any other in my professional career, I have watched in awe of you as young adults have demonstrated not only your will to make a positive difference, but your ability to do so. Class of 2021, as you head out into this beautiful and yes, sometimes tough world filled with all kinds of global pandemics, remember nothing lasts forever and you will persevere. On a personal note, I thank you, class of 2021, for allowing me to be a small part of your lives. And I look forward to seeing you make our world better for your generation and for generations to come. Thank you and congratulations. One of the greatest joys for a high school principal is to recognize the academic accomplishments of our students. I am pleased to invite our 2021 salutatorian, Mr. Brayton Osborne, to join me at the stage. Brayton is the son of Tenny, Ted and Wendy Osborne. Brayton entered the Cape Girardeau Public Schools in grade seven and finishes his journey today as a proud graduate of Cape Central class of 2021. Upon graduation, Brayton will attend Truman State University where he will major in exercise science and minor in chemistry. One of Brayton's CHS memories is hitting a walk-off triple in the 10th inning to beat Notre Dame this spring, ending a 13-year losing, losing streak to our Notre Dame neighbors. Brayton's hit and the team's consequent win was even more meaningful because it was the game played on behalf of his CHS teammate, Alex Powderly. Beyond our classrooms, Brayton has been busy. He has been a member of our varsity baseball team, our varsity football team, our varsity soccer team, where he earned first team all conference, first team all district, first team all region, and was a member of the all southeast Missourian area soccer team. Brayton also was an active member in student senate, national honor society, and concert band. Academically, 
Brayton earned academic All-State honors in football for both the 2019 and 2020 seasons and won the CHS Booster Club Male Scholar Athlete Award. Brayton also was recognized as a Missouri Scholars 100 recipient and was a National Merit Commended Scholar. Please welcome our salutatorian for the class of 2021, Mr. Brayton Osborne. Thank you, Ms. Scheller. Good afternoon, members of the school board, administration, teachers, friends and family. On behalf of the class of 2021, I want to thank all of you for being here today as you have played a significant role in the development and success of each one of these graduates. As I considered the message to deliver to my classmates today, my thoughts turned to one of the most iconic Tigers of all time, Coach Terry Kitchen someone who has meant a lot to me and my family. And I asked myself, what would Coach Kitchen want me to say as the salutatorian? And I think he would tell me, Brady, you're a senior. Tell them what it's like to be a tiger. Give them something to remember. And maybe use an acronym to do it. Well, I'm pretty sure about the first two, but we'll admit that I added the acronym part, as I don't think that's a word Coach Kitchen ever used. But hopefully you get the idea. So with a nod to Coach Kitchen, here is what I think it means to be a tiger. T, be thankful. Be thankful for the gifts and kindness given to you, no matter how big or how small. Never forget to thank those who help you along the way, especially your teachers, coaches, friends and family. And always be grateful for what you have. I, have integrity. Have integrity in how you live your life. Be kind, be honest, do the right thing. And as my dad has told me a thousand times, take the high road. It may not be easy, and you can't always control what happens, but you can control with how you deal with it. You can always hold your head high, and like the person you see when you look in the mirror. G, be great. Coach Kitchen doesn't want you to be just average. Good enough, like the word acronym, never made their way into Coach's vocabulary. Always do your best and strive in whatever you do to be great. The old adage of the difference between an A and a B is five minutes. I think the same holds true for the difference between good and great. E, be enthusiastic. We all know how Coach and how he was always fired up about Cape Central. Like Coach Kitchen, find your passion in life. Your work, family, church, service, or whatever it may be, and give it your all. Enthusiasm is contagious, and you will be an inspiration to others. And finally, R, remember. Remember who you are, where you came from, and that you will always be a member of the Cape Central family. When you go out into the world, wherever that may take you, know that as a tiger, your Cape Central family will be behind you and share in your success. Thanks again for coming to our graduation, for all you have done to make us successful, and for letting us become Cape Central
Tigers. Thank you, Brayton. Before I introduce our valedictorian, I am pleased to recognize selected groups of seniors who also have distinguished themselves academically during their years at Cape Central. I invite all seniors who have earned the Cape Central College Preparatory Studies Certificate to stand. Please be seated. I invite all seniors who are ranked in the top 10% of their graduation class to stand. Please be seated. I invite all seniors who have been inducted into our Cape Central chapter of the National Honor Society to stand. Please be seated. I invite all seniors who have been inducted into the National Vocational Technical Honor Society to stand. Please be seated. I invite all seniors who have completed the ACE program, earning an associate's degree, are the core 42 college credit hours through Cape College Center to stand. Please be seated. I invite all seniors who have completed all JAG requirements to stand. Please be seated. I invite all seniors who have earned distinction as Missouri A-plus high school graduates to stand. Please be seated. I would also like to recognize any senior who has enlisted in any branch of the military to serve our country to stand and be recognized. Thank you. I am pleased to invite the valedictorian of the class of 2021, Miss Emma McDougall, to join me at the lectern. Emma is, <laughs> Emma is the daughter of Scott and Amanda McDougall. Emma is a total product of Cape School District as she has been a student in our public schools from her first day of kindergarten at Alma Schroeder Elementary School through her last day of high school at CHS. Upon graduating from Cape Central, Emma will attend University of Missouri Columbia where she will major in chemical engineering. Of Emma's favorite CHS memories, it is celebrating the closing night of this spring's amazing production of the High School Musical. Beyond our classrooms, Emma was involved in Beta Club, Varsity Scholar Bowl, Symphonic Orchestra, FBLA, Model United Nations, and Mock Trial. Emma was also Vice President of National Honor Society and Vice President of Thespian Troop 1508. Emma was selected as a member of the Missouri Scholars 100 and as a National Merit Finalist, a recognition which is earned by less than 1% of students completing the PSAT nationwide. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2021 valedictorian, Emma McDougall. Thank you and good afternoon. First of all, congratulations on your graduation. I know that we've each had our fair share of struggles over the past four years, but we've all made it. Congratulations. I know it's a bit alienating for me to stand before you all up on stage behind a podium delivering a giant speech, but I've met my own challenges too, just like you have. Let me share a story with you. I failed exactly one test throughout my time here at CHS. 
My first hour, sophomore year, was team sports, a class I detested considering that I'm not much for any sports, and especially those that happen to involve a team. But still, I needed a PE credit and no other class fit into my schedule, so I resigned myself to a semester of general embarrassment as a lack of my athletic talent. I managed to scrape through most of the units relatively unscathed. However, I'll never forget the unit that made me doubt my ability to follow through and make it to this podium on graduation day, the practical volleyball test. This test required that I serve a volleyball 10 times, each correct serve earning 10 points out of a possible 100. Seems simple enough, right? But uh, those of you who know me well know that I've tried and failed at a number of sports throughout my lifetime. I spent most of Pee Wee Spocker keeping score from the goal and hoping the other team wouldn't come anywhere near me with anything that resembled a ball. And I spent the majority of middle school softball making up cheers from the dugout. But I am no athletic champion as some of you are, but the sport I failed at the most miserably is volleyball. Frankly, this volleyball test seemed to pose an insurmountable obstacle to my longtime dream of becoming the valedictorian. Still, I didn't take such a threat lightly. Faced with this horrible prospect of being hit, forced to hit a ball a few times in a row, I was frankly queasy, but I wasn't going to go down without a fight. I spent the next week or so practicing my serve nonstop. I dug an old ball out of my garage and practiced serving it for hours and hours every afternoon, only pausing for dinner and homework. I had passed every test high school had thrown at me up to this point, and I didn't see why volleyball, of all things, was going to be the exception. I told myself that hard work would see me through as it always had before. The day of the volleyball test dawned far too soon for my liking. I loitered at the back of the line, trying to prolong my turn for as long as possible, practicing my serve up until the very last minute. But finally, I was forced to the front of the line. I did 10 attempts, and a grand total of six went over, which was still honestly more than I would have expected a week prior. But I was still devastated. According to my calculations, six out of 10 would be 60%, a true, genuine, failing grade, and I wouldn't let that stand, especially if I intended to be the valedictorian one day, and I certainly did. These two agendas didn't seem to coexist, and failing this test seemed like it would make my dreams impossible. I convinced the lovely Coach Como to convince me to, to let the ta me take the retake the test the following week. I spent another seven days practicing my serve nonstop, but this time I had a good feeling. If I've learned anything from the motivational posters I've been looking at for the first, first for 13 years of my life, it's that the only place hard work comes after success is in the dictionary, right? And I was putting in the hard work, so surely success was inevitable. But this didn't work out. On my second set of 10 attempts, I still only earned a 60%, and into the grade book went my F permanently. Now, I realize this might not seem like a big deal to you, but as a person who cares a whole lot about my academic performance, this was a devastating blow to my confidence. I felt like this single failure was going to keep me away from my goals forever. And more importantly, I didn't understand how this could be happening to me. I put in the hard work, so why wasn't I successful and why couldn't I achieve my goals? Why would the motivational posters lie to me of all people? Here's the thing. I absolutely, unequivocally failed that test. There's no way around that. I thought in the moment that the dream I've had since I was seven of becoming my class's valedictorian was over. But here I am speaking to you all at graduation today. That single failure didn't define me like I thought it would. I may have failed at a small trial, but I still ultimately count myself as successful in the matter of high school. Success isn't a linear process. I've failed in my life over and over again in big ways and in small ones too. But I ultimately still count my high school career as a successful one. We're all about to start brand new phases of our lives, each and every one of us. No matter what your ideal of success is, whether that's starting a business or starting a family, graduating from college or attending a technical school, there's a chance, and honestly, it's a 100% chance, that you're going to fail at some point on that journey. But a single failure isn't going to disqualify you from the ultimate success you're chasing. Failing to achieve a small goal isn't going to keep you from satisfying your dreams. 
Now, this isn't to say that you can expect good things to come to you without that all-important hard work. Even after mountains of hard work, we still don't achieve perfect success in every way. I cannot overstate the importance of applying yourself to the new challenges we're all going to face in the coming days, weeks, and months and years. As we move into new workplaces and new classrooms, we're going to have to prove ourselves. We might be the leaders on campus right now, but we're starting over right back at the bottom of the totem pole after today. Now is the time to kick our effort up a notch, not to stagnate. High school isn't the end of the road. It's the end of a training wheels phase. There is so much more to come for you. View the difficulties you'll inevitably come across as opportunities to prove yourself. I've never been all that proud of something I've accomplished under smooth sailing conditions. I'm most proud of what I've achieved under stress, under a time crunch, with limited resources, and in times of adversity. We, of all generations, know what it means to succeed in times of adversity. Today is a day to recognize our collective success. However, it's not a time to grow complacent. Our futures still lie ahead of us. There's an opportunity for reinvention, of course, but there's also chances to disappoint yourself and stray from your dreams. Don't let yourself down. There's so much more success ahead of you that you still have yet to achieve. I implore you, do celebrate yourself today. You have come so far. But don't let yourself forget what tools were necessary to achieve today's success. Hard work and perseverance. There are struggles ahead, but those struggles are just chances to find yourself a brighter future. Thank you and congratulations. At this time, I would like to pause. I ask you to join me in a special recognition. As most know, we are missing one member of the class of 2021, Hunter Kiefner, who passed away at the beginning of our school year. May Hunter's memory be a blessing to us all. I am now pleased to ask our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Neil Glass, to join me at the lectern. Dr. Glass, my faculty colleagues and I present the 2021 graduating class of Cape Central High School to you and the Board of Education for graduation. The faculty has collectively determined that each person in this class has satisfactorily completed the required course of study as prescribed by the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education as well as by the School District of Cape Gerardo. Thank you, Principal Scheller. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'm honored to accept the class of 2021 for graduation. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce the board members who are with us this afternoon. Mr. Kyle McDonald, President. Mr. Matthew Welker, Vice President. Mr. Jeff Glenn. Mr. Jared Ritter. Mr. Casey Cook. Mr. Paul Cairns. And Dr. Missy Fagley. Give them a round of applause, please. Speaking on behalf of our board members and all of us as central administrative offices, I can tell you we're extremely proud of all you've accomplished throughout your high school careers. I realize the last two years specifically have been challenging due to the pandemic. Still, each of you have left your mark on this school, this district, and our community. My hope is that you'll Stay connected at Cape Girada Public Schools and help inspire future CHS graduates to pursue their dreams after high school. Whether you're entering the workforce, joining the military, going to college or technical school, please know we're extremely proud of you. We wish you the very best, but we want you to know you always have a home and a family with us. Congratulations, graduates. And this is my favorite part. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to present our diplomas to the Cape Central Class of 2021. Mason Lee Anderson. Benjamin Lane Asher. Betulai Atilgun. Kasim Bachelor. Brandon James Beasley. Cameron Deshay Bell. Colin Joseph Bennett. Isaiah Anthony Christopher Bentoncourt. Mashayla Bay. Daniel Bird Jr. Congratulations. Jerry Mile Bonner the third. Congratulations. Samantha Inez Booker. Chayton Elise Borders. Kirsten Marie Bramlett. Noah Robert Branson. Tsunami Briseño. Kylie Desiree Britt. Alexis Lene Raylene Brown. Henry Brown the third. Calvin Walker Brunkhorst. Tamija Monique Bryant. Andrew Michael Buse. Tayana Lenise Burns. Nathan James Caldwell. Isaiah Ray Camp. Olivia Janae Capshaw. Jacob Riley Chippewa.
Congratulations, sir. Nathan Alexander Clark. Congratulations. Aspen Lynn Clifton. Elizabeth Jane Club. Lorelai Isabel Club. Brendan Keith Coleman. Carson Grace Connell. Mallory Michelle Cook. Mason Lee Walker Cookson. Abigail Lee Cowling. Ryan Nicholas Criddle. Evan Christopher Croson. Miles Anthony Curbello. Benjamin Wiley Curtis. Walker Stephen Dom. Molly Davidson. Catherine Marie Davis. Megan Nicole Davis. Sarah McKinley Carlisle Davis. Estrella Fotini Constantinos Demopoulos. Congratulations. Sarah Grace Denicky. Tabria Lachey Dennis. Brandon Maurice Dupree. Devante Lakeist Dupree. Mason Riley Diamond. Jaden Vontrell Dixon. Daniel Leonardo Dordoni. Tamara Christine Dorsey. Bethany Grace Dowdy. Daly Ann Drum. Landon Neal Drum. Damian Edwards. Paige Autumn Elder. Colton James Emmons. Kevin Allen Fazig. <clears throat> Kyle Lee Fazig. Yeah. 
Marissa Faith Fields. Ryan Allen Fitzpatrick. Rihanna May Foster. Jaquavion Damon Cantrell Folks. Mary Danielle Fouts. Addison Michael Weston Game. Kobe Gant. Veronica Sage Garrett. Damari Ikel Geiger. Tyler William Gibbs. Marcus Ellis Gibson. Ethan Henry Glenn. Mackenzie Ann Glick. Melvin Earl Gorman III. Brenna Elaine Goshi. Joshua Andrew Grant. Amari Kai Green. Jordan Simone Nakia Green. Zariana Latavia Lachey Green. Valerie Elaine Greenlee. Congratulations. Thank you. Jamarion Quayshad Grimsley. Andrea Elena Gutierrez. Bernard Edward Hagler, Jr. Ella Clayton Hawes. Janaya Latrice Hall. Greg Sean Hallman, the second. Megan Jean Harding. Elsie Jane Harris. Jaden Lee Harris. Maja Renee Harris. Deborah Rochelle Harvey. <laughs> Brian Hegai. Lane Michael Henderson. Rodney Drake Henderson. Hannah Marie Horrell. Congratulations. Courtney Germain Horton, Jr. <coughs> Natia Deshay Horton. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. Emma Caroline Huff. Tyrese Lynn Huff. Tyrone Cortez Huff. Congratulations. Erica Michelle Hughes. Kalisha Aliana Jackson. Congratulations. Tyrus Paul Janzo. Congratulations. Lauren Maria Jock. Reginald Kristen Antonio Jennings. Ashley Lynn Johnson. Jeremiah Jaquan Jamonte Johnson. Congratulations. Kira Lynn Johnson. Samaya Johnson. Alana Billy Jones. Destiny Sapphire Jones. Grayson Olivia Jones. Carrie Fontes Jones. Shalom Eva Wanjira Kamau. Congratulations. Lona Renee Kershaw. Abigail Marie Kester. Drayden Axel King. Jocelyn Olivia King. Logan John King. Ryan Azira Fitzgerald King. Caleb Andrew Kitchen. Paul Andrew Kitchen. Stephen Connor Langston. Natalie Wynn Lee. Micah Elise Ledbetter. Dakia Deshay LaFleur. Isabella Rose Legrand. Jameson Lucille Legrand. Rokera Ladon Lewis. Toby Lynn. Michaela Kelsey Littlejohn. Bronson Lane Scott Lively. Justin Andrew Lowe's. John Michael Lutz Jr. Layton Daniel Lynn. 
Clayton Ronald McCubbin. Anthony Jerome Mackins, Jr. Desire A.J. Macklin. Xavion Alexander Mahoney. Taylor Michelle Mancellas. Lynette Denise Mansfield. Congratulations. Matthew Dallas Martin. Congratulations. Destiny Rose Matisic. Jack Ryan Maxton. Zachary Ross Mayfield. Tilea Kile McClinton. Emma Olivia McDougal. Cameron Michael McGee. Tyriana Latrice McGee. Justin Andrew McGill. John Anthony McKnight. Connor Reese McNew. Nicholas Ray Medlock. Tanner Theodore Mendoza. Talia Zyque Merriweather. Danielle Nicole Myers. Kirsten Cheyenne Monahan. Capria Marie Moore. Congratulations. Kylan D. Morris. Congratulations. Abrasia Michelle Mosby. Angelo Deshaun Murray. Tierra Brianna Lachey Murray. Jacqueline Nave Pizana. Shaheem Landon Neal. Essence Denise Nesby. Eli Cole Newman. Po Yu Nue. Brayton Alexander Osborne. Kayla J.C. Overbeck. Tyvon Lamar Terrell Patterson Lane. Sage Ophelia Pearl. Landon Floyd Pearson. August Graham Fegley. Congratulations, sir. 
Madeline Gail Picard. Carly Rose Marie Pogue. Gabrielle Nevea Porter. Janetta Marie Proct. Gilberto Quintas. Aliyah Marisha Randall. Bailey Lucille Randall. Kennedy Alexis Rayburn. Peyton Lee Redinger. Kamaya Dejane Reed. Jara Lushane Reynolds. Montana Joe Rice. Kevin Lamont Robinson II. Rodlandis Samar Robinson. Tristan K. Dakota Robinson. Kimberlyn Yasil Rodriguez. Eric Josue Rodriguez Guardado. Caleb Lee Rowley. Shantana Loran Rose Russell. Flor Salinas Perez. Grace Catherine Sanders. Clayton Scott Jr. Tori Elizabeth Scott. Alexandria Grace Seaball. Kareem Bashir Shaheen. Jacob Drew Simmons. Alize Simpson. Luke William Sissom. India Ashante Sisson. Trenton James Sisson. Mason Lynn Seitz. Adam Jeffrey Smith. Denarius Ashawn Smith. Samuel Travis Smith. Ziana Notori Smith. Madeline Lou Sparks. Alexandria Alexis Spence. Emily Rose Spinner. Yukti Shrikant.
Davion Marquise Steele. Deshante Shaquise Sterling. Faith Justine Stewart. Landon Michael Bruce Stewart. Michael Daniel Stokes, Jr. Haley Elizabeth Stone. Braden Michael Strange. Layla Claire Sumner. LaDante Samajian Taylor. Mariah Renee Darnish. Ariana Lachey Thomas. Brianna LeMay Thomas. Darian Zeray Thomas. Kelby Mahaley Thomas. Joshua Joaquin Thornton. Jonathan Charles Toby. We Q Tran. Tony N. Train. Grayson Lynn Tricky. Darion Lavelle Triplet. Miasia Imera Triplet. Elizabeth Irene Turk. Kaylee Patricia Turk. Levi Allen Tushop. Alexa Lorraine Van Alstein. Bailey Clarice Van Gilder. Chayton Ventadu. Ricky Page Vaughn. Elijah Joel Ed Vaughn. E.J. Jashawn Evan Wade. Jackie Michaela Waken. Cameron Jaden Wally. Timothy John David Watkins. Emma Leslie Watson. Congratulations. <laughs> Ethan Thomas James Weber. Congratulations. Thank you so much. 
Michaela Marie Welker. Congratulations. Brianna Alexis West. Elijah Emmanuel Michael Wigfall. Olivia Morgan Wilkie. Dariana Renee Williams. Isaiah Danaz Williams. Mackenzie Lynn Williams. Takaira Camryon Williams. Abby Olivia Wilmart. Keon Moshan Wims. Alyssa Diane Caprice Windish. Emma Nicole Winkler. Justice Ann Unique Withers. Brooke Elizabeth Whitfoot. Cameron Tucker Wolfers. Brittany Nicole Yance. Casey Denard Young Jr. Kaylee Marie Sterling. Evelyn Lee Frazier. Ava O'Neill Duncan. Rachel Elizabeth Keel. A couple announcements before we depart. One, please remember seniors, your diploma packets are at the tables located by the visitor concession stand. Number two, Mr. McWilson from our Career and Technology Senate has recorded today's commencement ceremony and will be posting it on YouTube for you to view and share. Number three, our graduates will exit the field to meet their guests. Please do not come on the track or the field. Seniors, listen carefully. It is now time for your very last Cape Central CAP exam. I invite the graduating class to complete the traditional movement of your tassels, signifying your readiness to commence. <laughs> 